Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never miss out on any of my future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my September favorites. So I have some skincare, makeup, hair care, clothing, accessory, phone case, perfume, song and movie, etc. So yeah, let's just get into this video because I don't want this to be a really long video. So we're going to jump right into it. I hope you all enjoy this video and stay tuned for more. So I'm going to start off with my favorite skincare products for the month of September. I have four or five products over here. And the first product that I have for you guys is the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. So I've used their regular moisturizers and uh, I liked it. But then after using this, I don't think I can go back to that. This has such a light feel on the body. Like it doesn't feel so thick or too creamy it just feels really light and it moisturizes and smells amazing so what you got to do is you got to shake it like this and then you open it up and then spray and as you can see it's just so thin the consistency like that is it right there i absolutely love it i've been using it a lot and i love the smell of it as well uh so yeah i got this from nika I don't know if it's available anywhere else. I found it on Nika, so I got it over there. This is for 380 and uh, yeah, this is supposed to moisturize and it absorbs in seconds, re restores dry skin and it is non-greasy. So it really is non-greasy. Like as I said, it's so light and it doesn't feel sticky on the skin. So yeah, I've been absolutely enjoying this moisturizer. The next thing is the Sear Secrets Silverated Lavender and Geranium Facial Mist. I was going to say spray mist or something. Uh, yeah, this is the facial mist. So this was for 297 and I got it in my Envy box. Um, so what I like to do is like sometimes when I have just a spa day and I, you know, go through all my skincare routine, uh, at the end of everything, I will apply this on my face. And even sometimes when I put on my makeup and I feel like it's too drying or too mattifying, then I put this on as well. And I absolutely love it. Um, this has lavender in it, but to be honest, I smell like it smells more of rose water to me. Uh, let me know if you have this or if you're like going to get it. Let me know what you think. Does it smell like rose water to you as well or is that just me? Um, yeah. It smells amazing. It seriously refreshes and it really calms you down like with that smell. So I absolutely love this. The next thing is the Patanjali Lemon Honey Face Wash. So as you guys saw in one of my previous videos, I did a huge Patanjali haul and I told you guys I'll give you guys a review on the products, uh, but I wasn't able to, you know, give you guys an immediate review. So I'll be doing it like in these types of videos where I'll be telling you guys if I'm enjoying it or, you know, if I'm not enjoying something, then I'll probably put it in my products. I will never repurchase video. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I'm sort of accumulating a bunch of products that I do not like. And then I'm going to tell you guys. So, yeah. This I've been enjoying on the other hand and this is 45 rupees. You get it on Nika. Oh my gosh, my hair is just going crazy. I hate that my roots are black. I can't wait to color my hair but I'm not doing it right now. I sort of want to do it near the wedding because I don't want to color it too many times. So, you know, for now I'm just going to have to go with this crazy look. Uh, but anyways, back to the face wash. This really controls your, the oil on your skin. So if you have very oily skin and um, you know acne and everything, you can try this out. It doesn't really help the acne, but I feel that it helps the oiliness. It really controls the oiliness, which is good. So yeah, I'm naturally loving this. The next thing that I've been enjoying is this one. It's the Exelor Zaria Brightening Serum. So I wanted to do a separate video raving about this because I have been absolutely loving this. So what I like to do is when I go through my night skincare routine, the last thing that I apply is this one. So I will like apply my, I'll wash my face with my face wash, apply my toner, my moisturizer, and then I apply this one. And I don't apply it on my full face. I just go on, on the T-zone 
and I love to apply it under my eyes right here because to be honest it really calms me down it soothes and it's just so lovely I absolutely love it to me it smells sort of um, like a balm I don't know why but uh, if you smell it let me know when I apply it like uh, sometimes people say that it smells like a balm so I don't know but I absolutely love this and sometimes like when I can't get sleep in the night I apply this like if I forget to apply this and I'm like you know I'm not able to get sleep I'll just go and take this and apply it and it immediately just you know puts me in a very relaxed mood and I just doze off like that so yeah I really love this this is for 550 the full size I think was 1500 um, yeah this is a 30 ml bottle right here and it comes with the dropper as you can see so yeah been really enjoying this the next thing is I think I'll move into hair care so for hair care I have two products from the Patanjali range so this is the shampoo and conditioner from Patanjali this is the Kesh Kanti anti dandruff hair cleanser and this is the Kesh Kanti hair conditioner for damage control so I've been using both of these and um, to be honest they've been working really well for my hair they haven't really like I don't feel this controls the dandruff but as I said it's the same thing for the face wash it doesn't control the acne but it really gets rid of the oiliness which is what I love because sometimes my hair is just so oily to a point where I can wash my hair come out of the shower dry my hair and my hair is oily that is literally how bad it is so uh, this has really helped control the oiliness in my hair so I use this the shampoo doesn't smell that great to be honest it smells like some herbs so I don't really like the smell of this but it's been working it's been controlling the oil which is what matters to me so I still use it uh, whereas this smells good so yeah would I like be able to compare and say that it's better than my body shop shampoo uh, probably not that's like the best shampoo but that is a little pricey um, I ran out of it I do have to repurchase but for now since I was I had all these Patanjali products I thought I'll try this so yeah it's been good it's been controlling the oil which is what matters the dandruff on the other hand hasn't been controlled in any way whereas my body shop shampoo does a better job on my dandruff so yeah the next thing in the hair care products is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh uh, Dry Shampoo. So this is the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. So I've been using this because sometimes like being that Bangalore is getting more cold now, I can't wash my hair every single day which is normally what I used to do. Uh, but usually like for second or third day hair, I think it's appropriate to apply some dry shampoo. So I just apply the dry shampoo to my roots, mostly in this area because this is where it gets more oily. So I applied this and it's pretty good. I don't use it as much, which is why I have the smaller tin. They do have the bigger ones, but I have the small one because I try not to use too much of dry shampoo being that it does dry out your scalp completely and you don't want to dry out your scalp. I'm just trying to get the oil under control. So I do use this from time to time, just not too much. So now let's move into the makeup, makeup products. products. I'm going to start with my Maybelline We Face Duo Powder. I do not know if I include this in my previous favorites video, but to be honest, I've been using it this whole entire month and I absolutely love it. And it really mattifies my skin, which is what I love the most about it. It controls the oiliness and uh, yeah. I've been really enjoying it this is how it is so I don't like you know use this for contour use this for highlight or anything I sort of just swirl the brush in and uh, you know powder my entire face with it and I really love it so this is for 550 on Nykaa um, and I'm in the shade light medium so the next thing is the um, color bar feel the rain duo affair blusher so this is it right here I've been loving this because of this warm tone sort of blush and highlighter I've been using it a lot last month and yeah being that fall is coming in I know we don't have fall in India but you know the sort of fall fashion and fall feel is coming in so uh, I'm like using a lot of these uh, warm tone colors 
so i have absolutely been enjoying this palette i think i'll even be using it a lot in october as well being that october is the main month for fall and halloween and everything so yeah the color bar uh, duo affair blusher this is for 1800 on nika but when i bought it it was on a discount for 1440 or something like that uh yeah 1800 on nika the next thing is a product that you probably won't get over here this is the eyeshadow by the brand oxx so i just have one palette like this i um i got it from wait what why am i even thinking i didn't get it from anywhere for a moment there my brain just froze and i didn't know what i was saying but yeah uh this was given to me by my fiance's grandmother so uh, i've been using this palette a lot this last month because as you can see the shades are very fall and i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes i have really big palettes and you know really good palettes as well but for some reason i'm using the small one because when i was traveling i carried this with me being that it's so compact and when i use it over there in chennai after that i've been using it a lot because it is so pigmented and also wait i'm just going to swatch one of the colors and show you guys look at this pigmentation right there that's just two swipes that's it it's so pigmented so i absolutely love it i'm going to show you another shade as well okay i don't want to be like i don't want to be showing my middle finger to the camera okay so this is this uh, other shade right here uh, yeah so this is from australia and i think you get it at kmart because at the back here it's given you know it's written kmart so i'm betting you get it over there uh, but you probably don't get it in india anywhere so yeah oh my gosh my hands are by shadow okay the next thing is some lipsticks so i have these two lipsticks i used it a lot while i was traveling and then once i came back i started using it over here as well so uh this is the l18 color pop lipstick in the shade maroon iris uh this is the number 25 because sometimes when you're purchasing these lipsticks they do not list the names so this is the number 25 and it's a really dark shade i'm gonna swatch it for you guys right here yeah so as you can see this is a really dark shade and i absolutely love it it's so creamy and uh, this is not a matte lipstick or anything so yeah the other lipstick is the seven heavens photogenic lipstick and this is in the shade cranberry 33 by the way the l18 lipsticks are available on nika whereas this one is not available on nika i'm not sure where i got it from as well so i'm not able to tell you guys that but yeah uh this is it right here so this is the seven heavens photogenic and this is the l18 one as you can see they're sort of similar but this has this is more of a red and this is more of a deep maroon but i've been using both these shades equally because as i said fall warm tones you know warm colors and all of that so yeah i've been using these a lot the next thing is sort of a random thing it's sort of a lip care product so this is the um biotech overnight bio almond lip therapy oh my gosh that's quite a long name um yeah so this is it right here so i've been using this a lot before i go to bed it's just a clear lip balm but it's sort of uh when you put it on your skin you sort of have a cooling sensation and it tingles a little bit um but when i wake up my skin my sorry not my skin my lip feels so moisturized it doesn't feel dry or chappy or anything being that we're you know moving into the colder uh, weather in bangalore uh, i always end up with chappy lips but this one has been really helping me so i absolutely love this i got this as well from nika the next thing is a uh, nail polish so this is the beauty and me nail polish i don't know i don't no what's the shade it just says number three underneath so i don't know if that is a shade number or what exactly but this is the color as you can see it's just a blue color and if you watch some of my um videos that i put out in september you will see i have the nail polish on whereas now i have this really nasty color and i do not like it so i am going to remove it at that time when i applied it it sort of looked good but then now i just don't like it so yeah the next thing are some random products 
starting with this perfume which is the Elizabeth Arden Red Door Perfume so this as well is from Australia but they do have the Elizabeth counter in lifestyle so you guys can check over there if you want to get it now this is a very strong perfume it doesn't have a fruity or a floral scent it's just really strong I, I don't know what's the term used to describe this sort of a perfume but it's just very strong so you don't want to apply too much because then it can make you nauseous uh, you just want to apply a little whereas the first time when I was applying this I sort of thought you know let's just go all crazy and I applied too much and then when I got into the car the smell was sort of suffocating me and making me feel a little sick and then I stayed away from it and I never used it then recently again I picked it up and I was like okay let's just apply a little bit and I just sprayed it like twice that's about it and it was good it lasted and yeah whereas let me just give you guys a little thing do not apply these perfumes on your skin apply it on your clothes being that these perfumes have alcohol so if you apply it on your skin it will darken and damage your skin so do not apply it into your underarms or your um you know your hands over here or anything just apply it onto your clothes it even tends to last longer when it's on your clothes so yeah for your perfume to apply on your skin go with a non-alcohol perfume or spray that is just my advice the next thing that I have is an accessory so I never normally have accessories but finally I do so this is just a clutch I, I think that it comes in the accessory category right um, yeah this is a gold clutch and I used it last month and I absolutely loved it as you can see it's a spacious clutch but it's small and compact as well it has this little pocket right here and uh, it does come with these chains for you to carry like you know a uh, sling or whatever but i use it just as a clutch and i absolutely love this i've had it for quite some time now i got it in my sugar box subscription box but then i never used it for a long time and then recently i pulled it out and i was like okay i'm going to use it and i finally used it i love it the next thing is a clothing item so this is it right here if you've been following me on instagram you probably know that you know i've been like living in this jeans jacket the whole of last month like almost a lot of my photos i have this jacket on because i absolutely love it i think the last i had a jeans jacket was when i was like uh 11 or 12 i didn't have one after that and you know i've been wanting to get one so i saw this on shein and uh, this was for 1500 if you pay shipping you have to pay shipping as well not if you pay shipping uh shipping was 120 so i paid 1620 and this was it right here i absolutely love this jacket it's sort of distressed on the sleeves and uh, i don't think anywhere else is it no it's just distressed on the sleeves oh right here so yeah it's this distressed denim jacket and I got it in size XXL although I'm just a size L but I wanted it to be really oversized although the sleeves are a little bit like uh, long for me but yeah I absolutely love this well that is it for this video I hope you all enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe to my channel and uh, if you want any information on the products that I've mentioned then comment below and I'll reply to you guys um you're probably wondering why it's suddenly so bright because i turned on the light the sun was actually going down i was so long filming in sunlight but then the sun was sort of going down it was getting a little bit dark so yeah that's why it's suddenly all bright again so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time so if you guys watched this movie pitch perfect you probably would have heard the song in the movie and i heard it from there being that, that it's one of my favorite movies so i absolutely love the song it's annie grammar keep your head up high and You gotta keep your head up, ho, oh, and you can let your head down, hey. You gotta keep your head up, ho, oh, you can let your head down, hey. I know it's hard, know it's hard to remember sometimes, but you gotta keep your head up, ho, oh, and you can let your head down, hey, hey, hey. They'll love me because I love you. This is Lucia. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Angel. And this is her family. Give me the keys to the other truck. I'll tow the cars myself. You know you don't pedal with your feet anymore, right? Times have changed. This is Marcus. The pops. <laughs> and this is his family. Hey, 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 stop. That's my car. It's on the hook. I got here before you had it on the hook. Oh, what? You don't understand English? El vato dice bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
here two worlds Mom! are about to collide. Yo, you told my car. That's a big deal, brother. Brother, I'm not your brother, hombre. Hombre, Dad, really? Dad. Yes. We're getting married. What? Yep. We are. Yay. Yeah.